dear students, it is Mr. Jimmy and this is Magnetism video part 4. Hi, do you know how this egg meter works? Who is providing the torque for rotating these blades? It is actually the magnetic force acting on a wire placed in a magnetic field. Inside this egg beater, actually there is an electric motor. And inside the motor, there is a current carrying coil placed in a magnetic field which can rotate about an axis. And when the current flows through this coil, there will be magnetic force acting on this coil and which in turn produces a torque to rotate this motor. And in this lesson, we will study about the force acting on a wire placed in a magnetic field. Now we will discuss the magnetic force acting on a current carrying wire placed in a magnetic field. Consider a wire of length L placed in a magnetic field B having a current I. So like this, this current carrying wire is placed in this magnetic field. The magnetic force acting on this current carrying wire is given by the equation F magnetic is equal to B I L sin theta. So the F magnetic is directly proportional to the magnetic field B, the current flowing through the wire I, and also F magnetic is directly proportional to the length L of the wire. And you can also see that F magnetic depends on the angle at which the wire is placed in that magnetic field. If the wire is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field, that means if the current is flowing, perpendicular to a magnetic field, F magnetic acting on the wire will be maximum. And if the wire is placed parallel to the magnetic field, that means the current is flowing parallel to the magnetic field, F magnetic acting on the wire will be zero. Now we will look at the direction of force acting on this wire. For this we can use right hand tool. Here the magnetic field is pointing into the plane of the paper. So you will point your fingers into the plane of the paper and the current is flowing up so my thumb is pointing up and you can see my palm is pointing towards left so here the force acting on the wire is towards left so because of this force the wire will be pulled towards left the magnetic force acting between two parallel conducting wires here we will consider two cases in the first case current flows in the same direction and the second case current flows in the opposite direction. First you look at the first case. Now you may look at the first case. In this case we have two wires placed parallel to each other and the current flows in the same direction. You just imagine that the first wire is placed at point P1 and let I1 be the current flowing through it and here the current is flowing upwards and the second wire is placed at point P2 and let I2 be the current flowing through it. I2 also here flowing upwards. Now you look at the direction of magnetic field produced by wire 1. If you use right hand tool, you can see that the direction of magnetic field produced by wire 1 at point 2 is pointing into the plane of the paper. The magnetic field is pointing into the plane of the paper. Now the second wire is placed at point 2 and the current is flowing upwards. If you want to know the direction of force acting on wire 2, you have to use right hand tool. And the right hand rule for finding out the forces, you have to point your fingers in the direction of magnetic field, thumb in the direction of current, then your palm will point in the direction of force. So at point 2, point your fingers into the plane of the paper here, and the thumb is pointing up, and now we can see that the force is acting towards left. So because of this, this wire 2 will be pulled towards left or attracted towards wire 1. Now we can consider the case in the reverse order. First you consider the second wire. So you have a wire placed at point 2 and the current is flowing upwards. Let B2 be the strength of the magnetic field produced by wire 2. And the direction of magnetic field produced by wire 2 is given by the right hand rule. And if you look at the diagram you can see that the direction of magnetic field produced by wire 2 at point P1 is pointing out of the plane of the paper. And you are going to place the first wire at point P1. And here the current is flowing upwards. And if you want to know the direction of force acting on the first wire, you again use a right hand rule. Since at point P1 the magnetic field is pointing outwards, point your fingers outwards, outwards like this. 
and since the current is going up your thumb is pointing up and you can see that my palm is pointing towards right so the direction of force acting on this wire is towards right remember when I am pointing this one for me this is towards left but when you look at me this force is acting towards right and uh, now we can see that wire 1 will be pulled towards wire 2 and wire 2 will be pulled towards wire 1 that means these two wires will attract each other so if we have two parallel conducting wires and if the current flows in the same direction these two wires will attract each other let f1 be the force produced by wire 1 and let f2 be the force produced by wire 2 then you can see that f1 is equal to minus f2 since these two act in opposite direction now case 2 in case 2 you have two parallel conducting wires and the current flows in opposite direction here let B1 and B2 be the strength of the magnetic field produced by each wire and if you look at the direction of magnetic field produced by each wire between the wires you can see that both magnetic field the magnetic field produced by each wire points in the same direction and here in this case you can see that the magnetic field is pointing into the plane of the paper that is the direction of magnetic field produced by each wire so that means these two wires will repel each other so our point is if you have two parallel conducting wires and if the current flows in the opposite direction then these two wires will repel each other and if the current flows in the same direction the wires will attract each other thank you